In this video, we're going to talk about how to undo changes inside of version control. After all, that is the entire reason we want to use it is so that we can return to previous states of our project. Let's talk about three different ways in which you can undo your changes. First way that we're going to talk about is let's say that you are making some changes and you didn't like anything you've done since your last commit and you just want to undo everything. So to do that, let's say I am a level designer and I'm making a few walls here, moving them around, whatever. And let's pretend I spent a really long time on this. And maybe we also made some materials. and so forth. So we made some changes to the scene. We've made a material, we made another script, level tester. It doesn't really matter. The point is we made some changes, we closed it out. Like, you know what, I, I don't like any of this. I just wanna go back to my last save state, my last commit. And the first way to do this, if this is the example and you just wanna go back to your last commit, the easiest way to do that, you can see the files that were changed over here. We added a few things, our material and our script, plus we made changes to the scene file. I don't wanna keep any of that. If you just click this button over here that says discard all changes when, when you're on your work in progress node, this is just going to discard all changes since the last commit. So I'm gonna hit reset all. And you'll see that now it has returned us back to the commit. It also means that it has reverted all of the files and the changes that we've done since, since this commit right here. So if we open back up Unity and we look, we can see that our scene is back to the original state and we don't have the new material, the new script or anything. We're going back in time to our last commit and we're getting rid of all the changes that we've made before then. So that's the first way, and that'll happen. You know, you'll start working on a mechanic and you'll decide, you know what, this is not working out. I don't like it. I wanna go back to my last commit. The second way that we're gonna look at is maybe you've made those same changes. So we make a new material, uh, junk material. Again, we've made some changes. Doesn't really matter what kind of changes. Save it, close out. So in this case, we see some changes and maybe we have committed. Maybe we've said, yeah, you know what? Good changes. We've even named this uh, really poorly. Made good stuff. Okay, we commit. Let's say in this case, we even pushed. And we have committed these very junky changes to the repo. Now here's a question, how do we undo that? We can't discard our changes here. Well, one way in which you could undo your changes here is you could just right click. You could say revert commit. Do you want to immediately commit the reverted changes? We'll say yes. And so what this is doing, if I click between these two files, you'll see that it is undoing all of the changes that were made to this commit. So if this is the commit, we added a scene, or we modified a scene file, we added a material, it, when we reverted that, it deleted the material that we added and it, it modified the scene to be how we had it before. So you'll also know that reverting this change is not really just undoing it like it is, but we're also tracking that we undid this change as a new commit. Now, the reason that you would wanna do this is you would want to know that at this point in time, I decided that I didn't want this change. Now, another, another situation might be where you have a line of things and you want to revert a particular commit. You could you know, right click this and, and revert. You know, it gives you a lot of control and, and lets you just undo the difference between this and that, um, which, is, which is pretty cool. And in this case, we have saved this state saying, okay, this new state of the project is that we reverted this last commit. And you also see that our, our uh, remote repo is further back in time but than our local. So again, even though we saved this to the remote repo, we changed it locally by undoing the last commit, we're gonna push it. And once that finishes, now our remote is synchronized back again. So just to recap, by reverting this commit that we made, we didn't like anything we did here, 
the revert just undoes everything from that commit. And now we are back at this point in time, it's isolated into commits. We're caught up on our repo, cool. So that's the second way. The third common way in which you may want to go back in time and undo a commit, um, let's say that we had made a few commits. So in this example, I'm gonna open up Unity again. And we're going to, again, make some changes to our scene file. Not even good ones, just enough to make the file change. And we've built a little roof here. Um, let's say we've also added a material. Okay, save that. Let's say we thought that was awesome. We don't know what we were thinking. Uh, let's say white box. Um, modifications, even a vague name, stage, commit. And let's say we made another change. Let's say we went back in here and we kept working from this. So we went and we added another material or let's, let's add a script now, just to show uh, white, white box controller, just something that doesn't even make sense. Level manager, why not? We started to try to build a, a system that didn't work. Save it. But, you know, we decided, hey, we're done for the day. Let's commit these since technically it's not broken. Uh, white box additions. And you get the picture. So the deal is, what if I just had a series of commits that I just, I really didn't like. I'm like, you know what? I, I just want to get rid of all of this. It, it's, it's not good. It didn't really do anything in particular, and it's just bad. We could have any number of these. And what I want to do is I want to return back in time to a previous commit, and I, I want to clear this other stuff out. So that's called resetting. And in this case, I want to reset to where I was before, where I had reverted this commit. Um, and, you know, for good measure, let's just push changes to... Um, remote as well. So what I want to do is I want to, and in this case, the remote is in the bad place and we'll fix that later. Uh, I want to reset my changes back before we did all these modifications that I, I don't like and I don't want to keep anymore. So to do that, I'm going to pick the commit that I want to return to. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say reset master, which is the current branch I'm in, to this commit. Now, if I choose soft, that means that I'm going to see all the changes that I'm about to lose. If I, if I use hard, that means I'm just going to lose them. Just to show you what's happening, I'm going to choose soft, but if you, you could be faster by doing hard. And so now that we've done that, you'll see that some crazy things are happening. Like we have this separate branch and we're not sure what's going on. It's fine. This is just showing us that these two other commits still exist and we're currently trying to reset. What we're doing is locally, we have removed these two commits and we're gonna see all these staged files. Now, these are all the changes that we made since this commit, right? These are all the changes inside of these other things. Now, if we unstage these changes right here and I can review them, just double check and make sure that I, I don't really want them. And if I click the discard all changes button, You'll see what happens. It just pulls us back in time and our local is now right here. Now our master is still up here. Uh, now I'm good, but I see that my repo is ahead. Now at this point, I want to push my changes up to master because I, I want to get rid of all these other things. And we, we've gone back in time. Now if I push, I see this dialogue right here. Um, this is saying, hey, they're, they're kind of out of sync. Well, I know that what I'm doing on that what I'm doing here is what I want to be, so I'm going to force push. Yes. And what that was doing is saying, are you sure you want to delete the the nodes? Like I am actually losing history in this example. In this case, I'm telling the master to lose that history. And if I knew for sure that I wanted to do this, now the real mistake was committing things that I didn't really want to keep, but then we decided that we, you know, it was junk and we wanted to get rid of it. That's how you would do it. You would just reset to an earlier point in, in the repo 
you would reset to there, you would look at the changes or you just get rid of them and then you'd make sure to synchronize the master. So now we're back to where we want. I've shown you three different methods for um, un undoing some changes. So if you're just, again, working on your own project and you're just going back in time and history, you should be able to return. You should start feeling pretty comfortable making changes to your project and decide, oh, you know what, I shouldn't have done that or like I'm a couple commits in and the system is not working. You can just really easily go back in time um, you can undo things since your last commit. You have a lot of options for things that you can do to protect yourself and get some previous project history.